to my beloved people of the city of Ushai, Kulo Malala, Usimos, Darlena Gilalanimo Muskewa, to me and to my other elders. To my fellow delegates, congratulations, we are here. From the time that the people of the great state of Ushai elected me as the at large delegate to the Fort Everson Constitutional Convention, I have been asked a handful of times now by several individuals here and there, why does the Everson need a constitutional convention? Or what could you possibly do to the Everson Constitution? In all honesty, it is a challenge not to feel as though these are questions aimed to undermine the value of one's effort to invest in participating in the election process and one's ability to contribute to the reform of the highest form of law governing a country. But I have had time to think about these questions and I recognize that these are crucial questions that every delegate in this room myself included, must address for the people that we represent, but most importantly for ourselves. In answering these questions, we determine the reasons why we are here. Why does the Everson need a constitutional convention? Because it is in the nature of all things through time to change. We can all agree that our country has changed since the year 2001, the year of the most recent Constitutional Convention, or even further back to 1979, the first year our Everson Constitution became adopted. The origin of the word Constitution is Latin, constitutus, which means the setup, with the suffix ion denoting condition, how something is. Constitution is therefore literally the setup of how something is. The Everson Constitution as the Masat Talet, or shrine for the supreme law of the land, needs to encapsulate what is important and relevant to the people of our country today. It needs to encapsulate the people's will. It is the people's will that has brought all of us here. The people chose us and have entrusted to each one of us to be their voice, their hand in holding the highest form of law that govern their everyday lives. Benjamin Franklin during his Constitutional Convention final speech in 1987 asked, when you assemble a number of men and women to have the advantage of their joining wisdom, you inevitably assemble with those men and women all their prejudices, their passions, their errors of opinion, their local interests, and their views. From such an assembly, can a perfect protection be expected? I pray that despite all of our differences and perspectives, that the best interests of our people will prevail, so that we may produce something that represents the value of our people. Fellow delegates, we must seize this moment. Kulomalab, thank you very much, Mr. President.